What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the good, the bad and the stupid. It's Friday the 6th of March. Hope you've had a great day. <laughs> um, I've got to stop myself, I've got to think before I say that. I still haven't fucking figured it out. I think you're just stuck with it, fuck it. Um, anyway, Friday feeling. Some of you have got it, I haven't because I ain't doing anything, you bastards. Anyway, uh, hands up if you got a good party to go to tonight. <laughs> and make sure you wash them with uh, hand sanitizer. Although, if you're like me, you won't find any because I went out today looking for some and the fucking shelves are all empty. And there's other people, I pretended to kind of look, no, I pretended to, I saw it was empty and then I kind of pretended to look at things on either side of the shelves so I didn't look like I was going in there just for hand sanitizer. But there was other people, because there was other people there as well, tutting, because they'd just come in and done the same thing. It's fucking mental. Uh, but I pretended to, then, uh, then I found myself looking, oh, unfortunately for me though, I found myself looking at the, the Femme Fresh products, which is the women's lady, for you blokes out there, obviously the women know this, that's the women's uh, hygiene products, because that was on the next shelf, so I stood there scratching my head looking at those, trying to look like I, was, uh, I wasn't just going for the hand sanitizer. Anyhow, and then I went in another shop. And I had other stuff to buy anyway. I wasn't just going there for that. But I thought I'd get some because it's, it's fucking hot topic at the moment, isn't it? And I've just come from the bank and I, they've, they've planted the seed, haven't they? Because everyone's asking you to pass things in and out. And like one guy coughed and then somebody else asked him, oh, can I borrow your pen? And then he gave, this guy who coughed into his fucking his, his arm like that, he came and gave the pen to the person who gave it to me to sign the fucking piece of paper. And I was like, I don't want to touch the pen. And I was like, oh, so then they had some hand sanitizers. I thought, you know what, I'm going to go fucking buy some of that. I've got some anyway, so I've got some to tide me over, but everyone's gone crazy, haven't they? I ended up buying some, uh, what else did I buy? <sighs> I, I, I thought, no, so I, ended up, I went out for that and I come back with 20 quid's worth of other stuff that I don't need. <laughs> because I keep going into shops looking for that and now it's coming out with something. You just go and buy something else instead, don't you? Anyway, don't, don't panic buy. That's what it's been said in the newspaper. Stop panic buying so I can get something before I die. Bloody hell. Um, Boris Johnson said, stop, sh don't panic buy. And everyone's going, oh, if Boris said so, We'll do that then. The millionaire in his mansion <laughs> with all the fucking resources he needs. If he says don't panic buy, we're not going to panic buy. Of course they are. They're, everyone's fucking, it's worse than Black Friday out there. Everyone's fucking, first everyone's selling out of hand sanitizer. Then they're going to be selling out of fucking uh, tissues for blowing people's broken noses <laughs> and blood everywhere. Plasters, all that. Yeah, there's none anywhere. And I didn't go in any of those shops where they're fucking putting the price right up. I bet they've still got some left. Fuck them. I went in the, the, the name shops, but these little retailers that are going like four ninety nine, five ninety nine. There is one guy who owns a shop and he told me he sold out. He bought some, sold out, he said he can't get any more. So yeah. There you go. Where's these uh there must be something on the internet on, on internet. Sounded Yorkshire then. Um there must be something on there where you can make your own, you know, a lemon juice and shit like that. I bet you. Check out on uh, eBay. I tell you what, that fucking video would be getting some big hits. Maybe I should do it because I ain't getting no hits on these fuckers. <laughs> I tell you that. Um, yeah, so I bet, you, I bet you mix lemon juice with some fucking vinegar or some shit like that and it'll become antibacterial. So, uh, you know, you heard it here first. You can do that 100% because I know you can clean your, your kitchen and everything with lemon juice. So, of course it's true. Uh, anyway, um, and to another thing I said yesterday about the toilet truck, toilet roll truck. A toilet, a toilet truck as uh, <laughs> get your words out, a toilet roll truck has burst into flames in Australia and everyone's... Uh, stressing because it, about the panic of the availability of the product generated by the canora virus outbreak again i said this yesterday what's with the fucking toilet roll and the canora virus am i missing something um, how do i know i've got the canora virus am i fucking running to the shitter or something or what because i don't know there's a link between neither the use of toilet roll and that virus 
So, uh, can somebody get down to me on the jungle drums or fucking leave a comment downstairs? The guy who bashed the guy, the, the lawyer who beat the, the battered at the fox to death with a baseball bat has, will not be prosecuted. Uh, the Irish PCA said last night they were not bring charges against him, despite admitting it killing it while dressed in a kimono on Boxing Day. Who do you think you think? Who the fuck do you think he was? A fucking samurai, samurai, uh, a kimono. He must have been having some fucking. He must have had a, a a hot date or something to be wearing some shit, some shit like that. Anyway, he bashed the fox's head in with a baseball bat. Let's forget the jokes. He smashed his head in with a baseball bat, and they said that they're not going to they're not going to do him because they thought he was killed swiftly. So fucking what? <laughs> he was killed. That was it. That's the fucking charge. He killed it, and he smashed it even with a fucking baseball bat. That ain't fucking swiftly at all. That would have fucking. I bet he hit it more than once. Hundred percent. I bet he was going at it like fucking Al Capone in that fucking Untouchables film. Smashing it because the, the fox was caught in the fence, so he would have been wriggling around. And then, unless this guy's fucking babe Ruth or what's his name, who's the uh, the baseball bat guy, this guy's fucking he stood there in his kimono and his fucking dodgy slippers or whatever. He ain't that 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 fox suffered, and that's Mr. Trick. If that was me. You know, I'm no lawyer. I'm no. Uh, if it me, me, the fucking videographer, comedian. Oh yes, that's what I call myself. If that had been me, I'd be prosecuted. I bet you to the full extent. But because he's a lawyer, he's fucking getting a. He's getting and a lawyer, and he's likely to have foxes around his premises. He gets a pass. Poor little fucking. Poor little thing, because. Uh, they're fucking doing it all the time anyway, aren't they? All them fox hunts, you see it all the time. I don't know where they keep popping up on my Facebook page, but it's foxes ripped to shreds constantly by all the fox hunting people. So they're a law unto themselves. So nobody's doing anything about it. But, uh, space chiefs, we should fuck them off to Mars, the people. <laughs> as soon as you catch them, well, I don't know why I said that, but Mars, I'm talking about Mars next. They're saying that they've discovered... Um, organic molecules on the red planet that are consistent with alien life. Alien life being, they're using that term a little bit liberally for my liking. Alien life to me is walking, talking, fucking scary looking, you know, with arms, legs, teeth, talking, fuck knows, whatever. They're like, they're people, they're like uh, an alien version of us, maybe. He's talking about mushrooms, crude oil, truffles and coal. That's not alien life really. It's life in a fucking very minuscule version of it. But I want to see something that's like, you know, living in a house. <laughs> it's coming up. He's opening his door like the, the shutter from... Because it's a planet and it's so maybe they live underground like some of these... Uh, I imagine it'd be like armageddon you know after the nuclear bomb's been here and everyone's underground it looks like it might be like that but maybe someone's got a shutter and he pops his head out and goes like that you know like a fucking um or the, uh, like a meerkat popping its head up out of the, out of the sand but in fact, i mean you know you think you'd have seen something by now you you it's not, there's nothing alive, is there? It's just looking for... Uh, but I'd love to see some skeletons or like whatever and see what the fucking... What, what really was there. Not just mushrooms and shit. But they're, they're, they're going to be sending some people up there soon because they've grown a lettuce in space. They've grown a lettuce in space. It's, it's been successfully grown, uh, bringing the colonisation of Mars a step closer, say scientists. So whoever goes to live in Mars will be living on lettuces at the moment because that's all that we've grown... <laughs> Or that they can live, I love, and they said it was delicious, absolutely delicious. But you ain't gonna live on that. I ain't gonna survive eating just lettuce. Um, add it with an oil and vinegar dressing. Describe them as awesome, and now they're gonna try and grow peppers and tomatoes. But they said that people will be well, people will be able to grow their own fruit and veg and when they get over there. <clears throat> so they said the people could be living there in the twenty thirties. That's like ten years from now. I could go. I wouldn't go. I fucking know. I ain't got much going on down here, but I ain't gonna fucking go and fucking live in no man's land in uh, in in Mars. You know, 
I've been I've spent some time in the outback in Australia, and believe me, that it's fun for a day. After that, you're like, there ain't nothing to do. <laughs> but it's great. I mean, the the best thing about the Australian outback is just seeing nothing. It, it, you, you've never been anywhere until you've been somewhere where you see nothing forever, for, forever, for the far as the eye could see, for like miles and miles and miles. It's it's something. It's amazing to see. But uh, you know. It fucking does uh, do your head in after a bit. So I know it ain't for me. And I did meet somebody who lived out there, and she was English, and she lived in a caravan. Like, she had to be on a CB, on like a walkie-talkie or whatever to, to call people in. She was like days from food and everything. Crazy. But she loved it. Absolutely loved it. So somebody's pissed her off over here, that's for sure. Who's, who are you? You've fucking broke her heart and sent her in the fucking caravan into the middle of nowhere. She might be one of the ones applying to get to Mars. So she's still not far enough away from him. <laughs> anyway, so there you go. If you fancy getting up there, no takeaways, because somebody said here that we've spent £4 billion on takeaways this year, last year. So we're all right in the fucking fatty foods. That's all the fatty bonbons eating all the... Uh, who are off to Weight Watchers. They're eating pizzas one minute and the fucking stun on the scales of Weight Watchers the next. Got to get your priorities right. You ain't going to be able to get on the fucking ship to Mars. You probably don't want to do it anyway, do you? But we want to send you there. That's for that's for being fat on Earth. That's your punishment. You're off. You can go and fucking live on lettuces in Mars. We ain't got enough room and space down here for too many fat people now. It's getting that way, isn't it? And food. Uh, anyway, what have we been talking about? Queen. Queen have launched uh, a sock brand. Queen... The musicians, the band, you know, the legacy, Freddie Mercury, have launched a fucking sock brand inspired by their greatest hits. Uh, oh, I didn't know that. Is it? Hopefully it's a fucking limited edition thing because that's just ridiculous, you know. You've got the multi-millionaires and you don't fucking need the money. And I bet your money is just making millions on a fucking weekly basis anyway because you've got that much in the bank. And you're still making money off all the royalties, so... Why ruin it by bringing out fucking socks? <laughs> bringing out like a sock brand or trying to be like, you know, kitchen wares. We could, it could be the next thing. Tea towels with fucking Brian May's face on it. I don't want it. I don't want to clean my dishes with Brian May's face. Sorry. Um, so what are they going to say? What's the deal? 50th anniversary of Queen's formation. Okay, so it's a one-off, hopefully. Don't let me don't be let me see that happening next year. I'm let it, let it slide for this year, but next year I'm gonna be fucking. I'm gonna be calling you out and saying, have you not got enough money that you can't just fucking live on the legacy of the music? That's just <clears throat> some people are just too greedy. I mean, it's not even the greed here. That's what it is. It's just like you've got all the money in the world anyway, and you want to fucking. Anyway, I've 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 uh, I've, I've outspoke myself on that one. Um, Queen, oh, it's Queen. <laughs> I was going to say it again. Uh, James Bond. The talk look, again. They're talking about the next James Bond. Um, James Norton. I don't know who these people are. James Norton, Richard Madden, and Jack Loden. Who are they? But I tell you, there's one name missing off that list, and it's Wayne Lawrence. Me. I should be on that list. <laughs> I should be the the fourth name in the hat. Um, I don't even watch James Bond that much to be honest but I like his style and I like the fucking clothes and I like you know he's cool isn't he he's cool but uh, I ain't that big fans on the latest ones the old ones they're all good uh, they're always worth watching isn't they but uh, um, what's he called Daniel Craig he's giving it up so I might have to send me application in send one of these little mini videos as my or uh, what's he called my um Right, I've just lost it. If this is the bit I'm sending in, I'm fucking never going to get the pass. What is it? My audition piece. That's it. I'll be uh, I'll be 007 this time. Next. N this time, never. I'll be I'll have to be in the porn version or something. You know, they make a porn version of every film that there is. I'll, anybody could do that. You don't have to like apply to be in a porn version. You can just make your own one, couldn't you? 007. Uh, the spy who... Oh, they've already had the spy who shagged me. That's... Uh, Austin Powers, isn't it? What else could you have? Don't know. I can't fucking think of that. Anyway, uh, what can I think of? Can I think of one? The man with the golden dick. 
There you go. I tried. Um, where are we going? Spending. Oh, I've done that one. What time is it? Right. You're going to get away early today. One balls. What a crowdfunding campaign has been launched to put up a Womble statue on Wimbledon Common. What, you're telling me there isn't one already? What the fuck? I didn't know that. Surely, of course there should be a Womble statue in Wimbledon Common. But saying that, where's the Wombles? <laughs> They're not on the TV no more. They're not anywhere. Nobody, I bet people, modern people, don't even know who the fuck the Wombles are, do they? You've got to make the TV programme and get them back out and about. You can't just like talk about like something from 30, 40 years ago and say we want a statue. They've got to be still like kicking about, isn't they? Unless they are. Is there, a, is there a Wombles about on the TV now, modern version? I used to have a Wombles teddy. I love that little guy. I don't know which one he was, but uh, I think we all did, didn't we, in those days? Wombles teddy. I was going to say it might be worth some money now, but I doubt it very much. It's probably covered in fucking piss. <laughs> Not from me, from the cat. Anyway, um, I was only about three. Come on, I was like, I'm just, I'm, I'm guessing I might have uh, pissed the bed once or twice. Anyway, let's move on before I uh, am going to finish up on one. Oh, space engine, a space engineer. She's only young. She's, well, she's 34. She looks young. She invented a mobile phone with the, you know, the old dial phones. I used to love that. You don't get that now, do you? The rectory, uh, uh, rotary phone. She's made a smartphone with that. There's no screen or anything. You just have to do the dial like that. I saw a, pro, uh, uh, a YouTube thing once where two kids were looking at it. They didn't know how to use it. They didn't know how to fucking... What do you do? It used to be a pain in the ass. Look, especially like with a nine, you had to go all the way around. Somebody had three or four nines in their thing and you had to wait for it to all to come all the way back. Pain in the arse, especially like on the council estate, because we used to ring each other. And you'd have to give secret rings, so you'd have to ring four times, put the phone down, and then ring again, so they knew that it wasn't somebody asking for money. <laughs> that was the life. That was the life. Anyway, uh, and look where it got me. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully, you've uh, enjoyed it. Enjoy your weekend. See you again Monday. See you later. Bye.